Good afternoon. It's a uh, rainy, stormy day here in uh, central Illinois. Thank goodness we're south of the uh, uh, ice and snow, but we are getting a lot of rain, So, but the trees need it, so that's okay. So I just got my Black Mamba small rig cage for the uh, new Lumix S5 Mark II that I bought. It literally just came in the mail today from China. Apparently everything you order from small rig comes from China because I got a cage, universal cage for my iPhone. Also I have a small rig cage for my Insta360 and also I have a cage for my GoPro. So anyway, um, I thought we would put this together today and see what it looks like. So I've got my camera. I got a free um, power bank adapter, which is nice. So you can strap a power adapter onto it, especially if you're, uh, which I want to get one of the Atomos uh, video units monitors. So let's open it up and see what we got. We have box. All right. First thing on top, small adapter for the side that comes with it to secure your um, USB-C or your HDMI that's going into the side of the camera. I have the cage, all metal, very nice, very lightweight. And I got the handle, which is nice. Uh, for the top, this one has the uh, rubber grip on the bottom. And I noticed that somebody else mentioned that um, they thought for people with big hands that it might be too small. And um, I gotta say, it's pretty comfortable. I have pretty good sized hands. And uh, my front finger fits right in here where it should, I think. And uh, it's pretty comfortable. So anyway, the one thing that's interesting here, let's see, double check. Nope, no instruction manual. So you're on your own. Um, let's see. You have the hex key, which is uh, magnetized into the bottom. You can see here. And I believe here and here we have a screw, we have a screw, that's what's going to hold it on. So let's see how this goes. I read some reviews of this and a couple of other, um, one more expensive and one less expensive. The more expensive one, not a uh, small rig, a different brand, was very difficult to put on. There was multiple screws that had to be undone. This was uh, mid-range price and um, $169, including the handle and everything, just like this. And uh, there we go. Let's see. So it'll go in like this. Okay. Let's see. Ah, and you can use this to screw the camera down. Okay. Fits in there very snugly. Easy fit. And then this one will go back on this side, I believe. Oh, yeah. Uh, this side fits right into the neck strap mount. So if you're using a neck strap, you're going to have to take it off to use the cage. So that's one thing to think about. I don't use neck straps anymore. Um, I have a um, small thing that screws into the bottom of your camera and then you can mount it on a strap. So it's pretty convenient. All right, let's do the other side. Uh, this one goes under the strap. The other one goes through the strap, it looks like. This one, uh, because the strap is um, orientated differently. Uh, 
This one doesn't seem to fit exactly, so let's see. Let's loosen the bottom up. Maybe that's uh, better. what I'm missing. Hmm. It's tough to get it in there. It goes into your next strap. Alright, let's try this. should go into the strap fitting, but it's uh, difficult to get in there a little bit. Uh, maybe I need to be able to move the camera more. Let's see. Okay, so let's take it apart and see why this is not fitting. Maybe the other side needs to go in first. It'll be something good to know, I guess, right? It's interesting that the one side went in so easily. Before I take the bottom out, let's see if we can take the screw out of this. Maybe if the screw is not there, it will fit properly. Alright, so I've got the screw flush. Let's see now if we can get it to fit. Ah, yeah. Okay, so when you do this, this side, the screw cannot be sticking all the way through, ready to go into the hole. It needs to be backed out so it's flush on the front side and then it will go directly in there. So it's actually very easy if it's done correctly. I said it was. And now it's not. Hang on. Hmm. Okay. fit. So let's try doing it again. And let's put this in. And then let's do this side first before we do anything else and see if we can get it to go in properly. Okay, so
So when you put this side in, I think it's best if you put it in first and you need to apply pressure pushing up on the clip into the neck strap and push it and then make sure that the screw is going in flat, not at any angle. And then it goes in just fine. And then I think the other side will probably slip right in, no problem. Yep. The other side's super easy. The other one, you need to apply that pressure to, um, to put it in and either not have the screw in it at all or make sure it's flush with the mount. Otherwise, oh, too many big fingers. <laughs> so this is my first time having a DSLR mount or a cage rather. And um, it's definitely more difficult than I expected to get it on, but I guess that's normal. First time. Uh, plus the fact that there's no instructions telling you put this one in first, put that one in. I guess they assume that everybody that buys one of these knows what they're doing. And uh, all right, so those two are in. The bottom fits perfectly. The screw is good, and then the screw, the key, which is everything goes right back in here and then it slides in just a little bit magnetized and this two lips here will keep it from popping out so that's pretty nice I'm not sure if I trust that uh, if I'm out in the field but it's not bad and then uh, take that off we'll put our 24 105 lens back on and we're good to go. Now as it's configured like this, you've got um, flash here or a microphone here. You have multiple uh, mounting points. Also this is where the bottom screw here, if you wanted to have your HDMI and USB-C, this would mount just on here. Oops, sorry. Upside down. You mount this on here like this. And that would hold your cables, so that would be nice. Uh, the one issue with that might be, let's see, no. Nope. Well, you can turn it, but once you do that, you cannot rotate the screen anymore, obviously, because it can't. So if you need to do that, um, as long as you already have it rotated, you could see it. But if you had it closed, well, no, you can. Never mind. I'm wrong. I was reading another review that mentioned something about that, but it's no problem. You just can't tilt it much up or down uh, with it there. But as long as you rotate it back here to the front, you can do it. But it's going to block the vision just a little bit. That's not too bad. So that's handy. And then the handle grip is nice. Uh, one of the features on it is on this uh, cold shoe mount here, it has a small pin here that presses down and it will lock anything you put in there uh, inside. So if you're putting a monitor here, it can't come out until you release it. And then to mount it, it has two set pins to lock it in place. And there you have it, ready to go. You've got mounts here, more screw points here. It has everything. And then you just buy the other accessories for what you need. So for me, right now, the only thing I would want is the microphone and maybe one light on top. I'm pretty simple, so I don't need all of the other uh, mounting points. But if you did, you've got them here, you've got them here, and also it has the Arca mount, Swiss mount, I think it's called, on the bottom. So you can mount this directly onto your tripod if you have that type of a mount. So you don't need to attach this uh, to another mount. It's ready to go. So that makes it nice too, once you've got that on here. All the controls are easily accessible and it feels very comfortable. 
uh, especially if you take this off. You almost don't even notice that the cage is there. If anything, it, it because of the way it wraps here, um, I find it pretty comfortable. It, it doesn't impact your grip here at all. Maybe a little bit here, and all the controls are easily accessible. You can see the top complete. Nothing is hidden. This one is a little bit hidden, but you can easily turn the dial and see what you're getting right in here. So I think this is great. Uh, I'm very happy with this. So, so far, every one of the small rig items that we've purchased, I find the quality to be really good and I'm enjoying them. So I look forward to trying this out and seeing what we can do with it. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna create my first quick video with this. I'm gonna do a quick review of the small rig cage that I got for my iPhone. So that's what I'm actually using right now to film this. So I'm looking forward to finally getting to try this out and uh, do one video with it. Okay, so we're finished. Thanks for watching. Take care. And uh, I highly recommend this Black Mama small rig cage for the Lumix. I think it's uh, available for quite a few other model cameras as well. It's newly designed, lightweight, and um, it's a great thing. So that's all. <laughs> Time for more coffee, I think.